there, my name is Shauna Bernardin and welcome back to GGTV. I've been getting a ton of requests on rapping and banding. This one was a personal request for Philippa Gill. She's a longtime fan and a good friend, so this one is going out for you. This is uh, my boy Rafi. He's American champion. He's very, very beautiful miniature poodle. He's seven years old. His name is uh, Champion Halcyon's High Road. And today I'm going to give you guys some great tips on wrapping so, and banding. Any of you that have been following us for any amount of time already know this, but if you're new to following us, this is so important. You really need to listen. Every good haircut starts with a good bath. And also, this guy has really long hair. So this is going to be for any of you show people or if you're trying to do, you know, a contest groom. This hair, we love every little single one of them all the time. So you're always going to start with two really good baths. You need to use a good quality product. Myself, personally, I'm using the Wall Red Shampoo by Showman today. I love this product. It's super gentle on your hands. It's a whitener, a brightener. It's a brightener of all colors. So I really love that, and it's super gentle, super important. And then, definitely, we need to use conditioner in this guy. So we're going to finish him off and use the Easy groom by wall showman conditioner this is a really good product now there's two different types of baths i give this guy if he's having a maintenance bath and he's just going to be running around at home then i use a tiny bit more conditioner in and i leave a little bit more in if i'm doing a show bath i just use a little bit So there's a couple of really, really important things that you guys should know about. This is really going to help you out. Being organized is super huge. A couple things. If you notice, I have him on a comfy bed. So he's comfortable, so he can lay down. He's not laying on a hard table. Super important, you guys. It hurts them to be laying on a hard table, so make sure they're comfortable. I have all my little tools. This is just a little bit of wall do not spray. I have my pin brush. I have my elastic bands. And we're just doing a maintenance bath. We're not getting them ready for the dog show. This is just a maintenance. So I also have my Artero flash spray and my parting comb. So this is gonna make you guys a lot easier for you. I always work on a stool because it takes a while. You need to take your time when you're doing this. The other quick tip, you can use a pillow. There's all kinds of fancy ones, but I wanted to show you the poor man way. It's a paper towel roll, pretty cute, right? So you're just gonna slide it in between his front legs and just ask him to lay his head down gently. He's more than happy to do it because he's comfortable. Okay? First thing you're gonna do, I, uh, if you notice, I just had one little pony in just to hold the hair up because super, super important, you guys. The hair will get in his mouth and he will chew it right off. So this is important. So I'm just gonna take out my little safety rubber band here. It's only in with one rubber band, so I'm just gonna snap that off there. Break that open. I'm going to use a little bit of spray and I'm going to use my pin brush. And I'm watching that I'm being real careful on the ends. You don't want to snap it through. You definitely do not want to be using a slicker brush on this stuff. And another super good tip for you guys is to not use it on dirty hair. Okay? Clean hair is always going to grow a lot better for you. So I'm just going to lay them down. I'm going to get my little rubber bands first. When I'm doing uh, maintenance top knots, I prefer personally to use these little bit bigger, wider rubber bands. Okay, so they're a little bit stronger, first of all, and they also don't break as much hair. So that's the size I personally use. Uh, I'm just going to lay them down. I'm going to take my little parting comb. And you want to make your first line just behind the eye, okay? You're just coming in, and you want to make that very straight. And I just part it straight down the middle. 
I'm gonna go back. You may have to clean it up just a tiny bit. Now because, again, maintenance rubber band, I'm gonna use my flash right now. This stuff is awesome. I love it for this because you know what? It's not a really heavy oil, but it's really great for maintenance. It really cuts the static. I actually use it on my own hair on a regular basis too. I love that stuff. So I wanna make sure this is well brushed. Then I'm gonna just take my wall comb on the wide end and I wanna go through. Now, if you notice, I'm starting at the bottom. I'm not snapping the ends off. These hairs are so hard to grow. You have to kiss every one of them to keep them on their head. I'm pulling this pony just a little bit forward and I'm putting it around now and I'm wrapping it three times, okay? So once my pony's in and it's a little tiny bit in front of me, now I'm just gonna pull it and loosen it off his eyes. Remember, he's gonna have this top knot in for a few days. You do not want this to be super, super tight on him. Okay, then I just lay him back down. So after we've put in our first band and we've loosened it off a little bit over the eyes, we're gonna just go right in front of the ear with our parting comb and take a straight line across and separate that next section with the rubber band. And I'm gonna use a bit more flash. I'm gonna spray it through. And then I'm gonna take that little section and I wanna comb it through. Then I'm gonna take my elastic band, just like we did on the first one, wrapping it around three times. Okay. And now I'm gonna take these two sections and I'm gonna put them together. So this guy is in an in-between stage. He was cut down and he's growing his hair back. He is actually at the length right now. We could start to wrap all of his top knot. For today's purposes, I'm going to show you just putting the elastics in it. I suppose it's about every inch is what you're gonna put the elastics. Don't go more than three times. Sometimes I see you guys wrapping around like 10 times. That's just cutting the hair off, okay? But what I am gonna show you is how to wrap an ear. This is very serious stuff, you guys. You need to pay attention with this because you can serious, ser seriously injure an animal if you don't follow the rules with this part, okay? I've seen some not so nice stuff happen. You wanna part it just at the back side of the ear so you separate the neck hair from the ear hair. And see, I had a bit of static there. I'm gonna use a bit of the Artero spray just to cut the static. Comb it straight down. Then I'm gonna take my comb on the wide end and I'm gonna just pick it through, make sure I can get through that whole ear. I'm gonna spray it with the Artero spray so I have my ears ready for its wrapper. I'm gonna fold this over one inch. And this is just a plastic wrapper. I really like these kinds. You can use j cloth so you can use rice paper. There's several different kinds. I personally like this particular brand. So I take it and I pull it quite tight over to the side of the ear. Then I'm gonna pull that straight down. You see how I'm making a long section like this. I'm gonna do it, wrap it around, keeping that tight all the way. When I get to the end of it, I need to have manipulated a perfectly straight line. You see how that is right there? This is super important. I'm gonna fold it in half. And I'm gonna straighten it around at the same time again. Then I'm folding it in half one more time. Okay, so then on this particular part, because it's a maintenance haircut, I like to take two elastic bands together. And I'm gonna wrap them. The reason I like to use two is pretty simple. If one breaks, you're in trouble. The chances of two breaking is slim to none. So if you just do two, you're always in great shape. I do one close to the top of the ear wrap and one at the bottom of the ear wrap. Now, 
This is the most important thing of this entire lesson. I have bred poodles my whole life. I have been involved with it every single, single time I do this. I cannot stress to you how important. Take the end of your comb, you guys, and just stick it through. Make sure that you can see the teeth have come through all the way. I'll tell you why. You can cut the end of the ear off. So this is so, so, so important. Check every time. Even if you are the biggest top professional in the world, check every time. I really hope you guys enjoyed this episode of GGTV and our boy Rafi. Uh, I really, really can't thank you guys enough for all your likes and shares and subscriptions. If you're enjoying these videos, please share and subscribe. Mm-hmm.